but we're going to change that. And we're going to, uh, this is, this slide introduces you to the wonderful world of open licenses. And I want you to become a little bit more familiar with that. Um, and it's really uh, the notion of creative commons refers to then basically culture. We create things to be shared in a culture in a, in a free way. Language belongs to all of us. The Spanish language is not copyrighted. It is part of the creative commons. We can create new words and new expressions, new text, and we can share it with other members of the commons. Uh, but also Creative Commons is an actual organization that exists. Um, they are copyright lawyers and they are trying to, to come up with a, an alternative to the uh, ex existing copyright laws. And they've come up with this easy system. If we look at the, the right side of the slide, you see the icons, attribution, non-commercial, share alike, and no derivatives. Let me explain these four icons and so after that, you'll be able to interpret any open license and you're gonna come across some real quickly. Okay, so attribution means simply saying thank you. It says somebody has created this and I'm gonna point back to, if I use their materials, I'm gonna say, I, I'm going to acknowledge, uh, for example, Joseli and Delia uh, will be talking to you later about the materials that they've developed here at the University of Texas at Austin. Well, it's fine, go ahead and use their materials, but please, point back to them and say, I attribute the original to Joseli and Delia. That's only good practice, right? That's just being a good educator. We are sharing our materials, but we also expect then people to say, thank you, that's attribution. Non-commercial, that's pretty obvious. Um, sometimes a license will say, you can only use this in for nonprofit uh, reasons. And so um, we, I don't want you to make any kind of uh, commercial transaction from it. No derivatives, the equal sign will say, you can't change it. It's how you start with it, it's gotta be how you end with it, it's got to be the same. So no derivatives are allowed. Remember some, like uh, in, the, in that little video, you were able to see people switching things out and moving text around and editing. No, 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 no. That's, that means making a derivative or change. And finally, sharing alike, um, the, the, the recycling kind of image here. I prefer to, I think it's a bit of a misnomer. It really just means uh, license alike. You have to adopt the same license. So if, I'm, if I find a piece of uh, media and it has this license, I have to adopt their license. Okay, so let, let me, let's take a look at, at, at how these icons are put together here on this graph. So you see on the right, so the C in the circle is, is um, what we understand as traditional copyright which is not very open because it says all rights reserved for the author or the publisher. We wanna share as teachers, we wanna share the rights with other teachers and with students. So over here in the far left, the most open kind of content of all is called public domain. Um, in fact, we don't even know necessarily who created it. It's in the public domain. We can use this any way we want to. There may not be any attribution because again, we don't know who to say thank you to. Um, the next most open license is CC BY, and that simply says, you can use this any way you want to, just give attribution to the originators. The next one, CC BY SA, is you, I have to adopt this particular license. I say thank you to, let's say, Joseli and Delia. I'm using their materials. I may, I may be using their syllabus for my, my Spanish heritage course. Um, but I need to say, I need to, to put their names on the syllabus that I'm using. Uh, CC by NC, I must give attribution and I can't, I can't sell this. I can't make any money from it. No non-commercial. Uh, CC by NCSA, I've got to sh adopt this license on my materials, can't make a profit and I have to give attribution. CC by ND, I can't change it. Okay, I'm not, so if I have this license, if I come across this license, I can only use the content as is. I'm not allowed to, to, to make any kind of derivation. And finally, the most closed open license is I have to give attribution. By the way, attribution is on all of these because that's kind of the sine qua non. We are not here to plagiarize. No, 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 We are here to give attribution to everybody to say thank you. So that's found on every single license. 
not non-commercial non-derivatives. Okay, that's it. You can now read licenses.